Today I'm going to talk about how to use impact simulation in change management. Why do we need impact simulation? When we relate an asset in change request, then we, we should know how much impact it would have if we make any changes to the asset. So it is important to find out the impacted asset for the related assets. For the related assets or for the impacted asset, there might be the approval required for those particular changes. It is not mandatory to add one or all impacted assets which is identified during impact simulation. How it is important in change requests? There is a possibility that approval mappings might be configured for the impacted assets and that asset or the impacted asset might have a bigger impact in the system. The change request or coordinator will get more idea on what is impact of implementing the change on the related assets. How this works? First, we need asset CI and then we need to relate some other CIs as an impact relationship as a child to the main asset in asset management. Then you go to the change request, relate the main asset and click on impact simulation. That impact simulation will give you the idea of all the impacted assets that you want to relate in a change request. This is how the in asset console looks. So there are like few main assets and there are two impacted assets. So this is a main asset one which has some impacted assets as five assets. This is second. So there are like few examples. Then I'll show you how it works. Now I have this particular main asset. Now if I open this asset, if I go to the relationship tab, you can see here this all four assets are those with child assets and half of the re relationship with type impact. So while relating this impacted asset, you have to always go to the system, computer system, then the search and then you have to maybe search this asset, select the particular asset, select relationship type impact, then relate and you have to select as a child to relate them as an impacted asset. As I already added four impacted assets, so I will not add those again. I'll go and create a new change to show you how the impact simulation works. So I'll give here as a summary simulation I'll go to the relationship type and select search for that main asset. I'll select that asset and relate into change request. Now I click on impact analysis. Impact analysis will show me all the impacted assets for that main asset. You can also see results in topology. Probably it will not work in my system, but you can have the table content displayed as here. Then I'll select save. So after I save, I'll get the message you request to relate impact is here has been submitted successfully. Refresh a table to see the progress. Now I see all the impacted assets has been related with relationship type impacts. Thank you.